we're taking a look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro. And this is kind of the big brother, as you will, of the uh, Xperia X10 Mini. As you can see, it's got the drop-down slide-out QWERTY keyboard that was not featured on just the standard Mini. And because of that keyboard, you're understandably getting a little bit more of a girth on this thing. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit bulkier, and I actually found it a little bit easier to hang on to because of it. Uh, it's fit is a little bit more solid in your hand. Other than the uh, slide out where to keyboard, you've got a lot of the same features as the Xperia X10 Mini. You have your 3.5mm uh, jack up here with the power and lock buttons. You have the uh, USB, mini USB uh, for data and charging. And this one didn't have that uh, protector on it, and I don't know if it did at one point and now it doesn't, but it, when I got it, it definitely didn't, and I actually appreciated that because that's one less thing you have to worry about trying to figure out how to flip that thing out without ripping it off accidentally. Uh, you've got your uh, camera button right here, your volume buttons right here, and uh, otherwise, yeah, this looks pretty much the exact same as the uh, the regular mini. You have your your lock key and your start menu, you have your home key and your back key right here. I found that uh, I was using this QWERTY keyboard quite a bit because on a screen this small it's really easy to mistype and especially as we looked at on the other uh, phone it, with that uh, autofill it's, it's con kind of convenient but uh, it takes a lot of time to get used to especially if you're coming off of a regular phone and you're used to just using the dial pad and punching in your, your uh, messages that way. You have the same four corner approach and in this one I kept some more of my favorite devices. I used this for about, or about a week, week and a half, uh, giving it some full use and running it through its paces. And uh, I found that I could really get a lot done on this. I was able to read emails, I was able to text, I was able to even type some blog posts with the WordPress app in the Android market. With the QWERTY keyboard you're able to do quite a bit more. I was able to punch in Facebook notes and um, text messages and I was able to type in web addresses. Uh, it just made a whole lot of difference and so if you were torn between the X10 Mini and the X10 Mini Pro I would say that the QWERTY keyboard is definitely uh, positive in the in the pro direction and uh, if you're going to do any type of heavy typing uh, even minimal typing, it was really convenient. Uh, here you have an example of the uh, Timescape in action. You have this nice little interface and if you flip it on its side uh, with some luck, uh, you can actually go side to side with it as well. I found that uh, the easiest way to get it to flip on the Pro is to actually pull out the keyboard whereas on the other one it flipped a little bit more naturally uh, at times. And I noticed that overall both phones uh, had, a, had a longer delay, like it was processing when you did turn it over. It, it took a little bit extra time to think about it, but once it clicked over it was really fast. That was the only uh, slow area that I noticed on the phone, and so I thought that that was pretty, pretty good. You have your same slide up, slide down uh, menus, and uh, you can go close the home button, you scroll side to side for all your widgets and I got to well by poking my favorite apps in the corner I, um, I found that it really did work as advertised the phones were both designed to use with one hand and when you're typing with one hand even with the QWERTY keyboard if you're in a pinch you can you can type with one hand you can reach all the way across uh, I'm not sure that I would do that. It's a lot easier to type with uh, two hands just like this. I found that the battery life varied depending on what I was doing and what I had going. So I don't know if, if you can see one of my favorites right here is the Advanced Task Killer. So I was constantly monitoring what apps were running in the background and turning them off. And at times I had to turn off the data altogether to save some battery. And I don't know that this is any worse than any other Android phone or even the iPhone for that matter. When you're running apps, something's going to drain your battery. 
and uh, also if you're in an area with with some sh shaky coverage then sometimes the battery gets sucked out just trying to find a signal. I happen to live in a pretty good spot so that wasn't really a problem for me. Uh, regardless of what you hear about AT&T, they actually do have good coverage most of the time. Uh, but yeah, after using this for, like I said, a week, week and a half, this became a really handy, handy tool for me. I was able to get into work messages, home messages, uh, the phone quality was decent, it connected to my Bluetooth hands-free device really easily, and while I would definitely prefer it to Big Brother the X10, if I uh, if I only had this phone available to me, I, th I think this would definitely be worth it from Sony Ericsson. So if you uh, if you're into typing and you def and you want a little bit more hands-on approach to your phone, I would get the Pro over the just the standard Mini, and uh, I think you'll have a little bit better time with it. Again, like I said, it was it's a little easier to hold. It feels it's a little heavier in your hand, a little bit more substantial, and it feels a little bit more natural when you put it up to your face. So. Here we have the uh, Xperia X10 Mini Pro.